So during this next section, we're going to take a look at modifying our workbook and modifying our Excel worksheets. Open in front of you, I've got a, a simple little exercise. This was a brand new document. It's got a single sheet inside of here. Uh, you can see I got sheet one there at the bottom. And I put a couple of values inside of the B column, specifically inside of the B3 and B4 cells. Now I want to demonstrate how you can move and copy data within an Excel worksheet. Now much like everything inside of Excel, there are many different ways to accomplish these two actions. I'm going to show you one of them, but just note that there are multiple ways to do this. So first the copy. I want to be able to copy some data from one location, copy that data, and paste it in to another location. Whether that location is within the same worksheet, different worksheets, or perhaps completely different workbooks. So take a look. This is how you copy data inside of an Excel worksheet. My first step, I've got to copy the cell or group of cells, range of cells, that I want to copy. In this case, I'm going to select cell B3 where it says copy. Now I'm going to utilize a shortcut key here to be able to copy this content. I'm going to press Control C. There we go. I've now copied that data. Now I need to select a cell that I want to paste this content into. And in this example, I'm going to make it super simple. I'm going to click over inside of D3 and I'm going to press Control V, V like Victor. This will paste it in. And there I have it. I've now copied the data and pasted it into a new location. Now you'll notice that my copy, the original one, B3, is still highlighted with the little marquee, those marching ants. Uh, that means that I still have the opportunity to click someplace else and paste it in. And I can continue to do this. I'm just control V wherever I want to paste this content in. This is especially effective when you start getting into formulas. Like we were discussing earlier, you could copy a formula and paste it into different locations. Now to remove the little marching ants, that marquee, once again, you got multiple ways to do it. But if I hit the escape key on my keyboard, top left corner, escape. This will stop the copy operation. That's no longer on my clipboard, no longer something that I can paste in. So simple process. Select the cells or group of cells, control C to copy, control V to paste. Now how about moving content? In this case, I literally want to remove it from B4, where I got that word move, and put it someplace else. Not copy it, but cut and paste. Move it. Again, some simple shortcuts here. I'm going to select B4, the single cell or group of cells, whatever it is that you want to move, cut out. I'm going to hit Control X, X like X-ray or cut. So once again, I get the little marquee, the marching ants, much like I do when I copy something. But I'm now going to move it. I'm cutting it out, Control X. Now I'll click someplace else and I'll paste it in. What was the shortcut key for paste? Control V, V like Victor. Control V, I've now moved that content. Cut it from one area, Control X, paste it into another area, Control V. Now we've got two operations. Simple copy, copy over and over, and I've got cut and paste. I'm moving the content. So try this out yourself. Build just a blank Excel workbook, put some values in there, try copy and paste, try cut and paste, move this stuff around, copy it around the worksheet, just get comfortable working with those two commands. Now really quickly, remember, remember there's multiple ways to do everything inside of Excel. I use some shortcut keys. But on my home tab, far left, you got your clipboard. And in there, you got your copy and paste commands as well. And I want to point out, this isn't something that's specific to Excel. You do this in just about any application out there. Highlight, cut it out, copy it, paste it in someplace else. Same shortcut keys, these work inside of multiple applications, majority of applications out there. So try it out.